Hey guys, welcome back. Jesse and I are here with a Chipotle McBang slash Dunkin' Donuts because mm -hmm. you know how we love our coffee. So if you guys watched Jackie's birthday vlog, you guys are gonna know what we're having. Actually, I had something different. Jackie had this drink. Right? Uh huh. Mm, we're obsessed. So if you guys watched that video, um. I ended up getting a macchiato iced coffee, but they asked me what flavor, so I picked vanilla, which is French vanilla swirl, is what they call it. And Jesse got the same thing now because we fell yeah. in love with it. We've and been this obsessed. Is decaf, and it's so good. Yeah. Wait, taste my decaf and see if it tastes the same. Because what if it makes a difference? A little bit different. Yours tastes sweeter. Oh my god, it is a little different. It's like the same, but a little different. And I'm glad that they have options for like decaf drinks because yeah, a lot of places some places don't. don't and like Jessie wants to enjoy her coffee without getting that like extreme caffeine rush. So. And at first I thought that this actually had caffeine because you guys it taste a lot like coffee right now. Yeah. Which I like too. it. It's so good as long as I don't get that those jitters. Duncan is actually a We're really good huge place. Duncan fans. Yeah. Oh, I was already gonna open it. We should show them. I love how they write your name on like your little Chipotle bowls. And they actually so wrote mine correctly. Yeah. Oh, it's because oh. I put it down for them. Once I, it came out of my mouth, it literally, I was like, oh, Josie wrote it. Oh Don't. my God. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer a clip at some point of how we get our bowls, just in case you guys are curious. So we asked for extra lettuce, lettuce because you know what do we love? We're trying to be a little lettuce. healthier, whatever. I actually love lettuce a Look lot. Look how pretty this looks. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Yum. Pretty with so many goodies inside. Okay, so we forgot to bring our own spoon, so we are going to be using their little disposable forks, which are Frosty. so tiny. Oh my God, mine is messed up. I got a deformed fork. Wait, is this not like a scared. sign? <laughs> like what is this? Yours is almost Ooh. like that, but not as much. No, I think yours is definitely. It's deformed. Yeah. It's gone through a lot, but it will do the job right now. Mm. Okay. I honestly can't wait anymore because I'm so hungry. We got it with chicken. My mouth is watering really, really bad. <laughs> Healthy. Happy. Taking care of yourself. Doing good, like, money wise because we know a lot of people aren't working right now and there's always bills to pay, families to take care of. Um, so we hope you guys are all doing good and yeah, we care about you guys. I you know. We're trying oh God, to keep as safe as we possibly could, too. Yeah. So, as you guys can tell from last week, we uploaded the wing stop video. And I felt like it took us, like, a good couple of, like, minutes just to, like, really think about it. And although it wasn't the worst, it wasn't the best. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I did not have a good experience at Wingstop. I didn't think the food was great. And I don't know if they like overcooked the wings. Like, I don't know. I just kept thinking about it. And I mean, I'll go as far as saying I won't ever go back. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I feel like we've tried. Okay, so we tried their wings. But you know how sometimes it just depends too on the location? 
um, because Jess and I were super disappointed like we always see so much hype for it and like I feel like it's always busy whenever we pass by there there's always people going to buy wings and I'm pretty sure there's wings wing fans from Wingstop mm -hmm. um, but I felt like they were so dry and like and where was flavorless the flavor? yeah there was like no it flavor. overcooked it almost looked like it sucked the life out of the wing like yeah it was the wing was so dry itself and I mean it's supposed to be a sauce it's not supposed to be unless you got like a dry one like um and that's why you picked a dry rub ones because those are the dry ones and I feel like mm. we got bad service not based on the two guys that it was their first day we got bad service from the managers the atmosphere was just so bad the vibe was so negative yeah and i, I felt, felt like bad for the guys who work in there yeah the people that are supposed to be training them the managers did not care about them they were just letting them kind of like figure things out for themselves and it's like you're supposed to be teaching them and making sure that they give good service for the future so i feel like and i'm maybe very they disappointed even in their management yeah right? so it could have been that but i feel like overall it just wasn't one of the best experiences there's even places that will go to pizza that's similar like little caesars but we have one in our hometown and like they specialize in like pizza not wings and their wings are still better than oh wing God, stop yes. that literally specializes in it so mm -hmm. so yeah it was just kind of like a let down sex because we were really looking forward to actually liking it the most positive thing that i can say was that their fries were good we are so happy today well no not today we have been happy because jess and i like we really got some great news and we celebrated and we reached a big milestone you guys yes you should say <laughs> okay so we are excited because we finally made it to a thousand subscribers Yay! so we have a thousand Random of applause. you guys um watching us and following we us we feel so special so happy yeah and like thank you guys for following thank us so for keeping up with us we appreciate you guys and it just made us so happy to see it hit that number and yeah. We are just going to keep more videos coming so you guys can keep watching our life. <laughs> yeah. And like we said, if you guys have any other video suggestions too, or you would like us to expand a little more further into something, like let us know and we'll definitely take it into consideration because mm -hmm. we want to give a little bit of everything, you know, like what foods we like, like vlogs that we do and mm -hmm. like things that are happening in our life we literally like went to the store and bought ourselves a $50 freaking wine glass wine bottle mm -hmm. to celebrate because it's such a big accomplishment for Jess and I and like we do it like with things that we like doing and to just finally have people subscribe to watching our videos for things that we enjoy it's like that's awesome it's really awesome yeah. And we appreciate like everyone that likes. We know the regulars that comment too. Like, we know everything. So, thank you guys so much for being just great supporters. We really appreciate you guys. Wanted to do a little bit something else, but I feel like Jess and I have been so busy these days. And it's not, there's not much also to do. Like, you can't really go out anywhere. And yeah. like, there's just, it's so limited. So, we celebrated in my room. Yeah. So, it was fun. Oh, and we were watching 90 Day Fiance. Mm -hmm. We love that show. Let us know if you guys like that show. The one that we're watching right now, it is so interesting. We're on the season with Varya and Jeffrey, but Jackie likes to call him Gail Free. Gail Free. <laughs> and also Stephanie and Erica. I know she went to go visit her in Australia. And um, Ed? Ed and Rose, mm -hmm. Rosemary, which I love Rosemary. Not from the trailers that I would say I wasn't gonna like her but she she's pretty cool she stands up for herself people automatically thought that she was with him just to like have a free ride and come over here 
but no, you see that she actually puts up with his shit. She actually breaks up with him because he's too much, and I'm like, good for you. Yeah, and and he puts her down too. So yeah. I remember that her breath stinks. It's like you can tell her in a, a different way. a different way. Like damn. Or the shaving the legs, you know, like you're go you're going to a different country. Like people, that's not like one of their primary things to do. You know, like maybe she doesn't have money to buy razors. Maybe. Like, there's a lot of things that can go into it. And if you look at Liz's home, oh, like... I'm having, like... <laughs> you felt <too>. it. <laughs> um, I'm crying. She's, Burgers. like, her home is so, like... She's... You can really tell her poor. living situation. Yeah. yeah. And, like, how are you going to think, oh, yeah, she's going to want to shower? She showers with a bucket. Like, how do you think she has time to be shaving her legs? And if I was in his position, I wouldn't be acting like, oh, my God, this is where you shower? Like... No, I'm gonna embrace that. This is your culture. I came to visit you. Yeah, I'm gonna shower with a freaking bucket. Am I gonna sleep, you know, like in your home and disrespect you and tell you like, where are your windows? Cannot be that disrespectful, especially with someone that you're in love with and you're going to meet them for the first time. Like, yeah. does he notice that he's not perfect either? Yeah. You know, you can't be so judgmental. And when he asked for that STD test, I get. Which I is got fine. Ed's. I got Ed's part too because uh, you want to be safe. But like the way that Rose was like, okay, I'll take it if you take one. And then he's like, oh no, only in the states. Well, you could have gone prepared by going well, in the United States and doing her, yeah and doing your STD test. Did. Yeah. And but I mean, I I saw a lot of the points, the, all of Ed's points also. But I love that Rose, I was coming into the show thinking that Rose was like, literally like a gold digger and like she was literally just kind of get going with him just to come over here, which maybe if you see how poor she is, don't you think that anyone dating outside of like United States, you would kind of assume that like a part of them also being in that relationship is for a better life too. And if she really would have wanted that, she would have put up with Ed no matter yeah. what no matter what she would have just like been cat. like this is my like free pass to the united states like i don't care i'm going no matter what and no she broke up with him and she stood up for like, herself too much. well actually we haven't gotten to the part where they break up but we heard that she breaks up with him so what do you guys get when you go to um chipotle so much do food. you guys even go to chipotle i know that i don't really go We're as much chipotle but just before. recently we have been really digging it mm -hmm. i know that i had it once before but i feel like the combo that i got wasn't the best i didn't like it was good but i didn't really enjoy it and it's healthy yeah <laughs> and it's funny because jess and i will sometimes be like like whenever we think about junk food like we always think like hamburgers um like mm -hmm. pizza like greasier things but still this is considered fast food too yeah and this is a little bit more healthier so we are gonna close out this video for today and hopefully you guys enjoyed our mukbang uh our chipotle and dunkin donuts mukbang see you guys in our next video bye bye